that Smyrna cowboy to you. Good morning, everybody. Smyrna Cowboy here. How y'all doing today? Today is November the 8th, 2024 at 1107 in the morning. I'm going to go meet my Banbury buddies at Buster's for lunch today. So I thought I'd turn the camera on and do a little videoing as I'm a riding down the road. <laughs> well, got a little bit for you today. I hope that everyone is enjoying the uh, uh, fall colors video that I'm doing with the Stones River Golden Wing Ring <laughs> Wing Riders. Uh, I've got a bunch and bunch, a bunch of footage I've got to go through, and if anybody's ever used a Insta 360, you know what I'm talking about. So that'll be coming up in the very near future. But I just want to uh, let you know a few things. As I said before, today is the 8th of November. So the election's over. It's done with. So everybody just move forward. As I've told you in past videos, I tell no one who I vote for. I think it is a sacred trust. And if you ask me, I will ask you who you vote for, and I will automatically give you the opposite candidate. I'm just that type of guy. So, with that being out of the way, let's move forward and just get on with our normal lives and whatever happens is going to happen and we deal with it as it comes so that's all i got to say about that oh let's see what else has been going on i've been doing a little fishing it's been fall and the places i've gone to leaves are all in the ponds and stuff and it's just hard to throw something in there without getting leaves on your treble hooks or your hooks or anything else and the wind's been kicking up and it's hard to fill the line and well uh, yeah you guessed it no luck at all but that's all right you learn stuff every time you go out so that's cool <laughs> I was on the Habitat for Humanity website and they posted some pictures of the ride. I'm going to put those right here of me, Trailmark MC, and Rerun. We've got some of those and some close ups of other things. So I'm let you see those there. Really good ride for a really good cause. I was real pleased with the pictures and everything. So everything was good. Enjoyed that very much. Hopefully I'll be able to do that again next year. Let's see. Um, I'm planning on going to the Veterans Day Parade in Clarksville, Tennessee, but the rain, the forecast for rain tomorrow, and me and my buddy Rerun John, we're just gonna ride up there early in the morning, but with that percentage chance of rain, I know I'm not going to want to risk that, so I would say it's a 80% chance that I will not be going to the Veterans Day Parade because I don't like riding in the rain. As I've told you in past videos, I've had a problem with the frunk leaking because of the weather stripping, so I got some weather stripping cement and put that on there and let it cure. So I took out the stuff that was in the front and it was wet i had some rain gear in there i had frog togs pants over you know over pants and jacket 
And since I've had those, I think I've maybe used them twice and I got them in, for a Christmas present. I'm thinking back in, I don't know, 2014 maybe, something like that. And like I said, I've only used them twice. And so I got them out and hung them up and let them dry and all that good stuff. But I was looking at the zippers and everything and it had corrosion and everything on it. So I took a bottle of Coke and poured it on there a little bit and get that corrosion off there. Took a little wire brush and scraped it off. And lo and behold, the little middle part of the zipper that goes into the that little you know that little blade that goes into the zipper it completely disintegrated so well crap but it can still button up with the fasteners and it's got a velcro strip so it'll be good for emergency situations so oh well it is what it is i guess <laughs> don't use it you lose it i reckon That's how it goes. Well, I uh, hope your Halloween, you had a lot of trick-or-treaters and stuff. I think we had 13 at our house. That means extra candies for the Christmas parade. So I went to Sam's that following Friday, got some clearance candy. So I'm ready for the little curtain climbers and snot gobblers for the Christmas parade. That's gonna be on December the 8th. That's the second Sunday in December. Me and my daughter, Ashton, have planned to do that this year. We had it planned last year, but I think uh, Mrs. Cowboy was sick and couldn't watch Little Miss because Pooter's husband works weekends, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So this year I said, well, if worse comes to work, I'll get a get a babysitter or something to babysit both of them so me and Pooh can join the Christmas parade. Little Miss is getting big enough to put her feet on the floorboards in the back so she is ready to ride when she wants to but I'm not going to force her to and when they do come over and it's nice weather and everything and I ask her if she wants to try to ride the bike I call it a bike even though it's a trike I still call it a bike and I'll let her tell me when she wants to ride and of course I'm the type of person that will just go barely at walking speed until she gets used to it then I'll increase the speed a little bit at a time until she's real comfortable with it so we'll see how that's going to turn out whenever she decides she's ready to ride with Pappy. And so I'm going to get a uh, backpack from Amazon, of course, so I can put all the candy and stuff in. So when my daughter throws out the candy, She'll have easy access. I'll just take this backrest out and have that backpack there and she'll be able to throw them out to the little children. Of course, I'll be running cameras on that like I do every year. When I go. Good thing about the 360, it picks up pretty good when you're going real slow, of course, with the wind noise and everything it won't pick up all that well but that slow walking speed of the parade it picks up picks up well so that will be coming out soon coming soon to a computer or smart TV near you. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. I had a uh, high temperature light on that uh, ride, the fall colors ride. I think it's got a little bit, a little bit low on antifreeze on the 
way back to the Smyrna Cowboy Hacienda. I guess I'll go by Advantage or AutoZone or somewhere and get a gallon of antifreeze. Recheck it and top it off and get her back to normal operating level so she doesn't give me that warning again. Well, since the 10,000 mile video, I've gone 486 miles. So I've been doing some riding this year. Thank God. I've been, <laughs> I've been popping out the videos. I think this will be number 56, I think, 55 or 56. Well, you'll see it on the description, which, what video number this is. <laughs> And I still got that footage for, from the fall color rod to go through with the Insta360, my Cena 10C, and my friend John, he used my old uh, Sony action cam. We found a way to put it on his bike, so you're gonna have some views of that as well. But that only lasted, the battery only lasted like 41 minutes. Of course, I had the Insta360 on uh, direct power supply. And then with the Cena, I had the backup battery pack thingy. <laughs> That's technical thingy. So I was recording the whole ride. Now, unlike this rod, I got the JIC camera going, but it only records like maybe 40, 45 minutes and then the battery shuts down. But I always run it when I'm just, you know, by myself on the bike, just JIC, just in case some of the terrific drivers we have here in Middle Tennessee decide to show off any. I got a record of it. <laughs> Always run a camera. I mean, if I can give anybody advice on a motorcycle, it's always run a camera. Excuse me. Always run a camera. Nothing happens. You just delete the footage, put the SD card back in, and wet, lather, repeat. It's always good to have. It's like a dash cam for your motorcycle. <laughs> sort of. Well, I guess that's about it for right now. All righty, let's see what we're doing here. All right, that little on your toes incident there. Well, anyway, I, th I guess that's all I got for today. So that's it. That's a wrap. Cut it. The end. <laughs> this is a Smarter Cowboy here in the city limits of Murfreesboro going to Buster's Place here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Wishing you and yours a good day. And until next time, adios. Thank you for your time and attention.